Hello friends, I'm back uh, again in that way that I so often am. Uh, hold on, well, yeah, okay, this is a good shot. Let's uh, let's go with this one. Uh, good, right now then. Wait, here we are. Look, it's the uh, it's the fortress of Colonel Failitude. Yeah, it has to be really, doesn't it? Um, now, uh, so, high detailing. No, no, no. I've got a, in this next session. I'm going for something pretty flipping bold. Uh, but before I kick off. Uh, I'm going to wait for my uh, my partner in crime here to uh, to return to uh, to duty. Uh, I'm back. Uh, you you are back. Uh, I am back. Have you, how's uh, how's your tower looking? Because uh, you know. Oh, I, you know what? I didn't look. The fail block is uh, is coming on quite nicely. Completely oh, inaccessible. Hello. I mean, I can't park me jag outside. It's rubbish. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but you know that's that's just life. But. I asked you to stick around because I want to show you something, and uh, and you will have an interesting thought, I'm sure. Uh, so I've I'll, not built I anything new, just a little bit of something else. So this is Azov, which uh, has got. Hang on, let's slow things down to a uh, a walking pace, which has got uh, one passenger line and one uh, freight line coming in. Right, so it's not uh, it's not delivering on much. Now, put your transport fever one hat back on for a moment. Done? Right. Yeah. What's the population of this town? It's one town. Go on, uh, what sort of number do you reckon that's at? Using your transport fever one hat. I... Oh, I, I don't know. Uh, two... Two... Two fifty-ish? Two hundred and fifty? What, in TF1? No, it'd be not even, would it? This would be a population of what I don't know, somewhere between a thousand and eighteen hundred, maybe. I mean, really? look, you, yeah, well, I mean, look, you got the tower blocks. You don't tend to get those till you crack the thousand. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it... I was, I was going to say two fifty three hundred. <clears throat> no, with the tower blocks, yeah, substantially more than that. Right now, here's the thing: is I mean, let's say, for the sake of argument. That this was uh, yeah, 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 a real city, right? How many people do you think live in this real city? Town. It's not a city, it's a town, isn't it? It is a town. I'm what? What well, now? Which, with, with TF2? No, 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 no. We're in, a, in the real world, if we were to imagine oh. this was the real <laughs> deal. Because, um, you know, I, I would imagine that any town, any town that's listed, probably at least 100,000. Yeah, I don't think it's that big, but I mean, based on the number of buildings and the size of the buildings, I think you've got to be looking at, you know, three, four, five thousand people, maybe. Oh, minimum. Yeah, right. Now, the actual size of this town, you were about right. Uh, this is a, this is now four nine nine, and I oh, think uh, UG have done goofed, not in a bad way, um, but I think they've done goofed by saying that the 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 size four nine nine is the number of residents. I think you just say. It's city size 499, because it looks a lot bigger than 499 people living here. Well, you could always take the um, the city skylines or the Sim City approach and just add a couple of zeros. Add a end. couple of zero. There you go. Yeah, even if you added one zero, uh, yeah. that would feel a little bit more realistic. Um, but when... Right, okay, so we've got some... Yeah, we've got some good numbers coming in from the chat. Twerky says 2K. Bounce says 3K. Uh, Canis Diabolus uh, is saying 20,000. Right. it's It looks a lot bigger than it actually is. And one of the, the criticisms that TF1 always had is uh, that, uh, you know, the towns, you never got more than 5,000 people in a town. And I tell you, some of those towns, I think, yeah, Metacritical's gone for 1 billion there. I don't think, I don't <laughs> think that's quite on the money. Um, uh, but, I mean, one of the criticisms TF1 had was that the towns never felt like they were big enough. Well, yeah, maybe, but, I mean, this has come on really quite nicely, and I'm not ticking that many boxes. Um, uh, Jeb Joyer said that, you know, 500 actual modelled sims, I would say, is actually exactly what that number is. Uh, but, you know, I don't need to know exactly how many modelled sims there are, as long as it looks fairly busy. Well, this see, this is the difference between games like... Um like, like tra between Transport Fever and most other sims. Other sims don't do actual proper modelled agents. Right. 
In transport fever, every single person they have a purpose. is an individual uh, agent which is properly modelled. They go out from their house, they go and catch a bus. And like, I'm riding a on a lady of again. Don't do that. And certainly, you take like Sim City, like Sim City Five was terrible because it it just it just arbitrarily multiplied the numbers by like almost random numbers just just so that they could have big numbers. Say, oh look, there's a million people in this city. Yeah, but we're only actually modelling like a thousand. It's yes. Like, well, what's the what's the point saying there's a million then? You know. Quite. I mean, you know, I think SimCity 5, for all of the, uh, for all of the, uh, the justifiable uh, criticism it gets, I think its uh, sense of introducing agents into kind of town building stuff, I think was an interesting idea. And it probably left, led to the, the level of development games have had since then. So I think it was a, a noble idea that didn't work, is my personal opinion. It certainly pushed because people wanted to see properly modeled agents yeah the problem is and this is why this is so intensive on your cpu it is modeling so many individual agents and each of those individual agents has to figure out well what route am i going to take to get from a to b yeah totally you know and it's not and the thing is it's not from a to b it's from a to b to c to d to e to f to g to like to, to Z, yeah, right. They've got multiple stages and multiple routes that they can take. There is a huge amount of work going on. And when you think that if you've got what twenty towns on your map with five hundred people each, that's a lot of agents to model. And that's just the people. Add on all the vehicles. Add on every individual piece of cargo, which is modelled as an individual agent. Yep. It's a lot to do. I'd be interested to know whether uh, an individual uh, civilian walking around your streets, what uses up more uh, of your processing power, whether it's a, a train that you've placed, you know, say, say you just put a loco down and had it running a route, whether that used more processing power or whether an individual agent did. Oh, I can tell you, it's uh, it's the the person walking the street. I would have simply thought so because, because it's got to make it because the trains the trains have got less pathing options. Yeah, and you've told them where to go. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're on a single route designated. There's usually only one one or two paths to get there anyway. Um, often only one, whereas a person walking the streets could take any set of directions they could indeed right i need to get to work so uh because i've got a lot that i want to accomplish in this next mission uh then i'm gonna have a i'm gonna have a lie down with with a, with a cold flannel for a couple of hours yeah okay all right well i'll see you for the next one see you for the next one colonel right. have fun see you guys Right then, okay, so here's the, the the state of play. I've got 112 million in the bank, which is always a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's always a good sign, and uh, and we're doing all right. Uh, as I, I might have mentioned a moment or two ago, uh, I'm making five to six million in a, in a kind of normal-ish year, uh, and uh, it's okay. Uh, it's now 1932. We've got airy planes available. And I'm going to be making use of them in this session. However, I'm going to be doing a bunch more stuff in this session as well. And I think I might have decided I was going to do too much. Too much stuff. Uh, MSJN on the Twitch there, he's saying, I expect to see an expensive bridge. Not this time. Not this time. No. We're, uh, we're extending our passenger route. I scouted around for a, a good viable additional um, uh, freight route and and none of them sort of leapt at me there's plenty that can be done but there's a lot of faff involved in actually getting it to happen so we have our existing passenger train setup that runs Novo Suburbsk to uh, Rajev, uh, Sochi and Azov and we're going to expand that out of Sochi to go to uh, Novi Urengoy as you do uh, before heading to Perm and uh, Vishni uh, Volochiok, Volchiok, Volochiok. Uh, and if that weren't enough, because it isn't, uh, we'll then, we'll take a, another one out of Nova, Novi, uh, Urengoy, me and Russian, like that, we just, like, like that, that's how people do it. Uh, we'll then also head out to Arzamas over here, and then, uh, and maybe, 
may be further afield. The idea being that eventually we zip across over here somewhere and hook up our original three, four towns that we've got going on there. It's a long old way, basically. Uh, and if that weren't enough, because it isn't, uh, I'm going to bang an airport in up here somewhere. And then I'm going to bang another airport in over here somewhere, because both these chaps want conmats, and this is me conmats processing and uh, refining area dot com. Uh, so we're going to going to do a bit of that, right? Lots to do. No time to hang around. Let's rock. Uh, so we're going to go to uh, Novi What's Not uh, to start with, and I pity the fools. So uh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Right, have it. Yeah, yeah, and you. Right, pause. And you, you, you didn't make it either. There you go. Right, that's a perfect place for a lovely station. And uh, therefore, we're going to put a lovely station in. Now then, we're, we're up to probably four tracking now. And we've got high speed available and electrification. Stuff electrification. Uh, we will go with this. Uh, would we want to make it 240? Nah, we'll be all right with what we got here. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to smash that in the middle about there. Good. Right, and then, because I'm staying focused, focused is what I'm doing, uh, we're heading out this way, we're going to go over to Perm, uh, which is all the way out here, and we're just going to, we're going to stick a cheeky little number just on the outskirts of the action here in Perm, right, I'm, going, I'm putting my stations in first, and then I'm going to revisit to, uh, to bung in some, uh, some interior roadage and associated transport requirements, as you do. Right, so there's uh, there's half a million or so of spend, bah, whatever, that'll do. Yep. Next, uh, we're going to go over Vishni. Now, Vishni's going to be interesting because we've got to go downhill a bit there. I'm not threatened. I reckon we'll make it, but you never know. Uh, now, there is the option here to do something completely ridiculous with fuel and wang it all the way out here and bung it in and everything will be absolutely ruddy marvellous. But I don't know how that's going to work, and I don't think I'm going to get to it this time. And I've found a spot to stick this in. Good. We're going to go with a terminal this time. Uh, but I'm going to slap it right in there. Right, you lot, get out of my face. Beautiful. Right, here you are. Come here. And uh, I think one will probably do one. Ooh, dangerous. Two will do the numbers on this one for us. And sit in the middle about there. This should give us quite nice catchment. It has done. All right. No, uh, no shocks, no surprises there. Uh, okay. So next up, we're going to, uh, we're going to hit up the wait. You haven't finished. Stay focused. I'm focused. So that's, uh, that's your Novi, your Perm and your Vishni there. They're all, uh, they're all hooked up. They love it. Uh, and then we're going to go over here to Arzamas, which is a tiddly little place that is completely insignificant. Um, and it's about to get tiddlier and more insignificant. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you had planned for that there, AI, but cancel it. Uh, and we'll bung in uh, your uh, your traditional two tracker here. No, no, no. Traditional two tracker. Thank you. Whiz it around this way. We'll hook up that bit of road in a minute, but uh, in a minute. Right. There's that piece of cake. No problem at all. And uh, where are we going next? I think we might. We might just do a cheeky one out to uh, Novo Kuznetsk because uh, Novo Kuznetsk woods and things. Uh, and also, we've got Angarsk here, which was also on my hit list. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, here's the thing is we can go from Rezhev, uh and, uh, and you know, whiz it around the corner, hit up Angarsk and Novo whatnot uh, before heading out to Arzamas. We could possibly even put in a circuit. But circuits are very boring. Um, and also, they're not very profitable. Why did you delete that? Felt like it. Okay, well, uh, moving on. What have we got here? Uh, could be pricey. That's not that bad. Okay, right. And, uh, yeah. And, yes. Oh, look. It's, it's like the AI knew I was coming. It's left me the perfect amount of space to put in a station. That's delightful. Right. Okay. And I haven't actually, yeah, I haven't even burned that much cash doing this, you know. That's disappointing. It's always nice when you, you go like, well, that's emptied 60 million quid out of my bank. But, you know, life. Uh, right. 
one more stop and then uh, and then we'll we'll plumb these in although you know i've now got K uh, kaliningrad looking at me going i want to play and going no you don't this is not a game you want to play oh this is tricky uh where would you i mean you know obviously yeah right but then what go all the way through this right up to the wall could do but your destination's over there so tricky um don't know uh yes hold on you know what i think oh uh, i'm getting a, i'm getting a notion uh right I, I like it it's a it's an interesting notion this one i've no idea if it's going to work which means it will after i spend too much money on it build it three times and bulldoze just about the entire town so uh in other words yes it is going to work right slap that in there okay yeah that's going to be exciting now then let's do some track Woo we're going to switch to high speed track despite the fact that don't know so uh you know that's that's the thing uh we'll start off going this way oh well done yeah i've made a i've made a bold opening gambit now i'm hoping of course that the tunnels i'm about to commence are not going to set me back tens of millions because if so i can't afford very many 10 i would be able to uh, afford in fact well let's let's try it grab your grab your angask line here and then clench oh ah oh hey that's a nice way to spend 20 million quid flipping heck all right uh, how about we don't go that way oh, that's the best way to go though yeah but no i think you'll find the best way to go would be round the outside here before maybe doing a cut in over there all right it's not the rapid fire highly explosive and exciting build progress intent that you had though is it doesn't matter. Let's go. All right. Now, then, uh, because we're using high speed lines, these will cap out at 300 kilometers an hour, which is, you know, it's pretty quick. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's all right. A bit of tunnel here and there is acceptable, but 20 million quid on tunnel is not acceptable. And uh, then whittle it around the outside. Oh, yeah. No, no. That was cheeky. Put it in. Yes. Right. Uh, occasional cheeky tunnelage is what the people want. Uh, you don't need to hide detail if you're putting flipping cheeky tunnels all over the place. Everybody loves that. Keep it on the on the somewhat flat. Keep it on the less flat. Uh, no, flattish. Thank you. Good. All right. I didn't actually price that one up. I'm going to say it probably wasn't that expensive. And then we're maintaining 160 coming around here, although that leaves the, uh, the Angask approach perilously slow. And, and while we may not have a train that is capable of uh, of supersonic speeds at the current time, uh, we will have eventually. So there we go, breaching the surface again. We're going to have to come in on quite an aggressive turn to get in there. So it's not uh, it's not as the crow is this the crow flies if the crow can't maintain a very high altitude, and uh, and that's why it's decided to go around the mountain rather than through it or over it uh, or under it. Or by the... Or whatever. Okay, well, I don't think... Hold on, we should get the game moving at least. That way I've got some cash coming in. I don't think I'm going to... Uh, actually, let's set the date moving again. Uh, otherwise, we won't get anywhere. Uh, just one, one times will be sufficient. Thank you. For now, we might up the tempo a little bit later. But for now, one is enough. For now. For now. Uh, right, okay. Ah... Uh, now, if you were playing this on yourself, then probably you would go straight line uh, between point A and B there uh, because that's the high money route. Uh, it's not the track covered. It's the point A to point B distance that uh, that makes you the cash. But frankly, it is not going to make the, the 20 million quid back any time soon. It's going to take quite a lot longer than that. Uh, right. Still, this is coming out all right. I know, dirty level crossing. But sometimes when you're playing fast, that's what you have to do. Now, there's no avoiding this one. This one is happening. Shouldn't have built a house. Hope you kept the receipt. What's this one going to set me back? Well, uh, a shade over 11 million quid. 
I think that's the only time I'm going to have to do that on this odyssey of a of a route kind of a thing that I'm doing. Get that out of my way. Pause the game again. Let's get through there before it tries it again. And then, then we'll be golden. Right, there we go. A shade over 11 million quid. You could describe it as a shade under 12 million quid and you wouldn't be wrong. Uh, but that's okay too. Uh, right, you get through here. Yeah. Now, I'm not... I, don't, I hasten to add, what we're doing here is we're speed playing. Uh, this isn't what you would call a speed run. That's not my, really my style. But I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to get through a lot uh, as quickly as I can so that uh, a lot has happened by the time I'm done. And, uh, and therefore, I am not paying... I, I, I am famous for... Uh, uh, for how much attention to detail that I usually pay. And uh, I'm paying less attention to detail than I usually do. So uh, usually I would be paying, oh, I don't know, like a ton of attention to detail. Today, probably only around a quarter of a ton. Uh, just, you know, for, uh, for, for weight counters out there. Now we've actually got some more gizmos here for the uh, track updates. You've got catenary versions, high speed versions. Now, nothing new there, nothing new here. Nothing new there. And here, there's nothing. What's that? New. No, isn't. Uh, but I'm going to have that share this platform, and that will work out nicely. Now, here's my tunnel exit. What I'd quite like to do, because this is going to be a backing service, it's not going any further than that, is, uh, is reshape what I've got now. So I'm going to reshape what I've got now. Uh, right, get uh, this out of the way. Yeah, I know I've broken it. It's fine. Don't worry, I'm going to unbreak it in a moment. Yeah, yeah, and yes. Right, that will probably do the trick. Now, as much as it's... For those of you who uh, who like it a bit of attention to detail, what's this third track all about? Was I using that? I'm going to go with no, but I possibly should go with yes. Uh, yeah, for those of you who have uh, attention to detail, uh, you're going to love the fact that I'm mismatching the tracks. So, you know, brace and uh you know and, and i'm sure you'll be fine and you'll probably get over it but uh yeah apologies for that because needs must uh i'm also gonna i'm gonna run this up here because i suspect that's the kind of thing that i'd do uh i can't remember exactly what i'd done with that and it was it was only earlier today that i did it so you know who knows um right and then i should have built a low speed tunnel through the mountain oh Yes. There you go. So look at that. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a version therapy. Just stare at it for a moment and go, well, obviously they're still working on it. Still working on it. Don't, I'll, I'll do the upgrades. I'll do the upgrades, at least at the station. And then you can feel slightly less aggrieved. Uh, tracks, yeah. Upgrade, yeah. Track high speed tool. There you go. All right. That's, that's slightly, slightly less offensive. Uh, only slightly. I mean, it's it, we haven't removed all the fence there, but we've uh, we've removed some of it. Uh, right, and then back back to work on uh, on getting this uh, operational again. Slap that one round there, yeah, and then uh, and then whip this one round next to it. Okay, good. You had signals on there. I don't know if you were using them, but you possibly want to. So we're we're into the age of the electric signal now, so that's just a, a piece of news. And then we're, uh, we're then we're off this way, right? Are we going to do another dirty level crossing? Yeah, I think we probably are. Okay, or we could just delete this. No, I don't think we're going to do that. Oh, I'm tempted to go round the outside, but that makes for quite an aggressive curve. But to be fair, I have got quite an aggressive curve coming up anyway. So just you know. Just suck it up and do it. Oh yeah, oh, it's not that aggressive. A hundred a hundred kilometers an hour is is not that uh, is not that slow. So uh, it's about sixty miles per hour. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, right. That's that's come out okay. So what have we got there? That's three stations hooked up there. Now one more, and I can set this route in motion because it's going to be a an end to end job. Um, I'm not going to run a circuit because circuits don't pay for themselves very well. Uh, you, you basically you you could have a pay, you could have a passenger get on at, at stop one, 
and then not want to get off until the end of the, the line. Meanwhile, the train rattles past dozens upon dozens of people. So a 4-5 stopper is usually a good way to go. It's, oh yes, it's, quite a, it's quite an exotic route, though. So we go Angarsk. We, we do this because reasons. And, uh, and then uh, you head out to Novo M Manovano. Oh, and then I'm going to do something dramatic with it. All right, okay, this might take a minute or two. So what I'm thinking is, rather than my usual approach of bulldozing a straight line through towards the, uh, the, the what's it at the end there, uh, what we're going to try and do is do an elevate uh, to get there. Now, I don't think that the elevation I currently have is sufficient, so we might need to go up a bit more. We're going to need to go up a bit more. Yeah, yes, now you're talking, although you're not talking very clearly. Oh, you're, you're talking quite poorly there. Go on, go on. Give us a... This road might be forfeit just while I get my altitude right. Yeah. Uh, not G. G doesn't do anything. That's the button. Right. And then, uh, then we're, we're going to monster up to a height so that we can enter and have a cheeky tunnel halfway up that uh, up that cliffside. Why? Because I can. Uh, possibly. Or I believe I can, and therefore I'll give it a go. Right, if we take that up to about there, that should do it. Yeah, I reckon. Okay, and then uh, onwards. Now, I do, oh, flipping it, that's come out better than I expected. I, I was about to say, you can't take it straight over people's houses, but uh, it's currently disagreeing with me and saying, no, feel free, take it straight over someone's house and then watch them bellyache about the amount of uh, emissions they're having to suck up. They're going to go, well, I don't know how to suck it up. They can just, you know put some corks in their ears or something. Now, I don't want to remove any more of those buildings because this is going to look completely super if I can do this without any more destruction. But I want to end up coming out about there. Oh, hello. Oh, I should have done that all the way along. No, we'll stay in stone because that way you've got an unobstructed view uh, that you can that you can just... Oh, I, oh, I'm loving it. That's That's as far as she'll take it. Okay, right. There you go. Hold on, was that inside or outside? Oh, no, it's outside. Uh, I might have to pull that back again. Uh, let's have a look. Right, if we come around to here. Nope, no casualties. Ah, oh, super. I'm I'm very much appreciative of that. That looks absolutely dandy. And, uh, and I bet that the chat is going to approve. I want to see some uh, some nodding heads of approval even if it's something you would never do yourself because you find it offensive. Um, right, now then. Well, oh, I've got a feeling. And, uh, and I know what I'm going to do with that feeling. All right, we're going to go through here as advertised. Yes. Yeah, what are we looking? Looks floaty. It does not look floaty. It's made of stone. For oh, hold on. That does look a bit floaty. Ah. Uh, well, you know what? The fact that it does it, that's pro that's quite cool. The fact that it looks floaty is less cool. Nuts. Okay, good spot. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, cheers. Love it. Yeah, oh, way to suck the jam out of my donut. Um, oh, well, never mind. Uh, keep going. Because we're now going to... We're going to skirt uh, this cliffside and we'll be properly supported throughout. This line is not going to be ideal for a high-speed train and therefore one is somewhat foolish in having deployed high-speed tracks i'm going to cut through the edge there you know a mountain gouge through and then uh, and then come out over here somewhere and it'll look great when it does all right hold on i might need to be a bit more precision what's happening come on come on out oh okay oh i see it's because we should be going uphill all right okay Fine. This is this is going to be uh, it's going to be a bit worrisome, but we'll we'll make it work. All right. How's that? So, <laughs> uh, that looks all right. Uh, however, I am a little concerned about the uh, about the speed. Yeah. Look at this. the The gradient now is quite aggressive. Yes, it is. Yeah. You should have you should have started your height escalation a little earlier on and made all of this going uphill. So what I'm going to want, I'm going to want a train with a, with a shed load attractive 
going on in order to be able to uh, to get up the hill. Um, I should probably delete back and start my climb a little earlier. Otherwise, it's going to get ugly. I might even uh, have to... Uh, I just used really, really good stone in construction. That's a good one. You'd argue this is high detailing. How dare you? Um, yeah, I'm going to take another swing at this. All right, let's have a let's have a go. Let's uh, let's knock it back. Got to get up higher quicker. Otherwise, we're going to struggle to make it all the way to the station without having to put a helix in. Now, I know you love a helix. I love a helix. Helices are life, but. Uh, you know, there are, for a goods train, it's worth it. For a passenger train, I'd argue, not as much. So, we come out here, up up the tempo. And, uh, right, get that, get that nice bit of bridge in. I don't actually want you bending as much as that, but that's, uh, no, no, you know, you, you're all right. You're all right. All right, give me, what does double up give us? Really not enough, and I'm definitely going to either. You know what? I'm going to go on single up, so we maintain a reasonable a reasonable level of uh, of momentum. And if it's not enough, I will helix towards the end, uh, and see how we uh, see how we get on. There you go. That's it. I mean, it's already a little better than it was last time. I mean, not massively better, but a little better. And a little better is sufficient. Uh, for now. Okay, right, good. Where are you actually headed? It's over there somewhere. Is it? Yeah. Okay, you should probably unpause the game. Just, you know, to let some money trickle gently and carefully and uh, and with, uh, with expertise into your account. See, look, we're going uphill. Alright, if I crow flies it the rest of the way, is it even doable? Well, let's go over here. No. Alright, so... Now, the, this road is probably in the way, so let's not. And then let's let's go all the way up to here. And actually, we'll use this cliff edge and hope we don't crash the game to see how high up we are. Yeah, so we've uh, we've emerged. So this is on on one dollop of upward. Uh, we've ended up still a good. Well, I don't know. What do you want to call that? One hundred and fifty feet, thereabouts, maybe a bit more, uh, short of our target. So I'm going to try and find somewhere that's really quite appealing uh, to, to put a, a swifty loop in in order to uh, to raise the tempo. Uh, or one, what push the tempo, one might say. What are you belly aching about? That's reporting a problem. You're not, though, are you? You are, though. Are you? Yeah. Okay. All right. Hang on, then. Uh, where are we up to? Yeah, all right. I'll come back because I want to get the I want to get the game moving again, and uh, and this this chap's having a tantrum of some description. Where are you? What's your problem? Manage the line, right? Uh, where are we? The blue. Give me, bring the bring the line up as a separate entity, please. Uh, I'll just have to do it this way. Uh, grab that. Yeah, grab this. Thank you. All right. What's your problem? Where are you having problems? Well, you're not using both sides of the track. That's a problem. Yeah, it is. Why are you doing... Oh, it's because of the platform assignment. I've got it, Rajev. Okay, that's fine. We can fix that. Uh, so, terminals, we now move... I think if we just move them down one... Other way around. All right, you go two. They're still not happy. You go three. Still not happy. Why? Oh, no, hold on, but it's not complaining anymore. But why am I not seeing the track? All right, hit the turbos and see what happens. Because this is three, right? It, the, the only reason that, uh, that, that these may be the wrong way around is because I don't know which way I, I plumbed it in to begin with. Uh, let's wait for a train and see what it does. If it's, It should be going up on the screen as we look at it now, uh, coming in this way. Any sign of a train anywhere at all? Any trains? Trains, please. Any trains at all? I've got some. I've, I definitely purchased trains. You're on the wrong track. Oh, or, or are you? No, you're not. There you go. That's gone right. All right, groovy. We can crack on. All right, let's go back to, uh, to cracking on over here. All right, and uh, off we jolly well go. 
So, when we last spoke, uh, this was doing a thing. Now, we're going to make it do a thing. And that thing that it's going to do is... Strange and beautiful. Uh, right, now, we can go proper aggressive with this because the tightness of the curve means that the slope and the curve combined, it's going gonna, it's gonna to kill off whatever speed it had anyway, which won't have been very much because I'm, you know... I've, I've, oh, that looked nice. What was that doing? Do we really want it popping out the top of this cliff? I would say no. But we do need to we do need to get up to the surface. Alright, so we got 65 to get to there. Yes. Look, let's let's call this phase one. Alright? And if phase one is successful, then we'll all celebrate and uh, uh, and there will be the whooping and the hollering. If it doesn't work, I'll bulldoze it. And then we'll have another go. What do we got? Uh, the JU-52 has become available. I will be using it presently. All right, hang on. We have, we have just done that. That's interesting. Oh, okay. We haven't done it. Never mind. Uh, we'll do it again. There we go. Right, so we'll come out there. Oh, that's... That's super. Okay, it's going to lead to a bit of a bit of a roller coaster bridge coming off the end of it, but uh, uh, I'm taking it. All right. Okay. So onwards. How uh, how how bad are we looking? Uh, it's not awful. It's not good, but neither is it awful. And uh, okay. Right. Well, we can probably go uphill a little less aggressively now, and make it to our destination. Uh, another thing to bear in mind. There you go. Oh wow! All right, okay. Write it off. It's a roller coaster. Um, it's fine. No, it's it's accomplished the mission. And what are you doing that for? Stop it! No, no, no. You're being foolish. There you are. That's it. Now I know we've got a little bit of raised embankment there, but I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, delete that and uh, hurt this. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, well. Ah, that's all right. Uh, they'll be back if they can be bothered. Uh, sling that in there. Sling this in here before the uh, the troublemakers move back in and go, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you've... Beautiful bit of line up there. Yeah, that didn't work. No, 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 no. Stop being clever. Uh, I've, I've got to, I've got to de-ramificate what I've done here. All right, okay, well, de-ramificate that bit, because this angle is better. Okay, all right, fine. You know, bulldozing at long range, you're just going to spend money on nuking trees, right? Yeah, they've got it coming. There you go. Right. Now, before I hook this up, I should probably decide which side of the track that is. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, I did. Uh, well, uh, yeah, you know what? It's an adventure. And, uh, and therefore, we enjoy these things. So, you know, loving it. Good. Uh, couldn't find it on Twitch. Not under Curly Fight. I'm under Good Shepherd. Good Shepherd. What's a train? Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, train will be along presently. I've got a few, but I'll, I want to add a few more. And frankly, this route is long enough to warrant several trains. Uh, right, okay, here we go. Round the outside of the helix. Is it really worth double tracking this? It's always worth double tracking it. Uh, you know, it will sell that this is a legit piece of construction. Hello, autosave. Uh, you done? Good, thank you. And, uh, right, out we come. Yeah, out we come. Now, it has to be said, I haven't actually spent a ridiculous amount of money yet. And, uh, you know, while I don't necessarily aspire to spending a ridiculous amount of money, I had anticipated that this might cost a little bit more than it has ended up doing. Uh, I'll tell you something else. Doing the downhill bit on it is going to be well exciting. Knowing that you've got to slow down before you effectively ride the wall of death. Uh, I mean, that's, that's, going to be, that's going to be quite something. Right, okay, that's in there. Yep. It's probably got a lump in the middle of it. In fact, I can see it from here. Thanks, game. Making me look like Mr. Lump Maker. 
Uh, right, and that's done. Good. I think we can probably uh, deploy some stuff. Uh, well, we can fling some iron up that right now uh, and uh, and see what ends up happening there. Actually, you should just do this as well. There you are. And hope you don't put in trains that are too, uh, too lengthy for that. Uh, right, we'll bung this out here. Although we should do it the other side. There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll spare the feelings of the townsfolk ever so slightly uh, in order to uh, avoid emissioning them any more is, than is strictly necessary. And then uh, just whack one of these on here. Yeah, no one depot challenge for me today. Uh, right, okay, what am I going to stick on there? Well, first you're going to stick a line on it. That's a sensible way to go. And off we go. Right, one. I think this is my a B. Is it a three stopper or a four? I think it's, no, it's a four stopper. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it's not a. I mean, it is an eyesore, but uh, it's not a total. Not a total shambles. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, back to here. I bet the turnaround time on this isn't pretty. Uh, right. Okay. Has that adopted? No. Okay. So it needs to adopt unless I can fix that at... The, what, what am I asking? Has it adopted? Has it done that? Yes. In a... And then you say the final word that means that the sentence makes sense. Is it using both sides of the track? Well done. Got it out. Uh, made a difference there at last, last minute. Well, if I stick that on here, that's probably fixed it. Uh, let's uh, do one more here. In fact, I don't need to do this. Uh, with with four stations, I can run, what, six trains, eight trains? No, eight trains. Seven. Tra seven. I can run seven trains uh, with the stations that I've got without needing any signals. But I like signals, and uh, so do the trains. And also, it's going to be a heck of a lot faster coming down the hill than it is going up the hill. So a bit of signalling just for spacing purposes is probably worth while. And whether it is or not, I'm doing it anyway. Oh, I think I think we're all looking forward to riding through the canyon in here, and that's going to be great. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, bung that on there. And then one about mid-distance here, and we should be good to go. Oh, and one for queuing purposes. Two for two for queuing purposes. One for queuing here. Have you got that on the right side? No. Well done. All right. Try it again, but get it right. There you go. And then uh, and then one up here will sort us out. Okay. Right. Now then, let's uh, throw some iron up it. Now then, what have we got to choose from? Steam locomotives. Well, have we got any electrics? No. I can I can catenarize, but uh, I've got no electrics. So we've got the class F D. 85 kilometers per hour. All right. Okay. Blimey, they were they were still building these allegedly in 1981. Still. Uh okay. Well, it's 8 million quid and then 1.3, well, effectively 1.4 million per year and that's before you've slapped any wagons on it. So, yeah. And then this one, 115. Right. Yep. Or China. Now, I've already got some China uh, in uh, in work, I'm going to use the class SU here. Uh, and although saying that, only 104 kilonewtons going on there. Are you going to are you going to struggle to get up the hill? Oh, hold on, we've had a moment. Give it a moment. It will recover. It will think about it. I'll either that or it'll crash the desktop. Oh no, no, you, clicking on that doesn't do anything. Oh, okay, it hasn't done anything wrong. That was me. <laughs> ah, good. Uh, yeah, it's not very, uh, it's not very grunty. Not very grunty. E this, gruntier. This one, well grunty. All right, we'll try the SU and see, and see what it says when I start bunging some coaches on it. So, uh, right, you've got uh, the Egorov, which has got nice capacity on it. Uh, we've used the Suburban already, so I think we'll probably skip the Suburban. Although, that said, 187 a year, 197 a year for an extra passenger. Actually, that's balanced. <laughs> uh, this guy, these only do 80, right? Yes. Weight, 20 tonnes. Yep. Weight, 35 tonnes. No. Weight, 40 tonnes. 
Do we want to use the 40 ton coach? Stuff it. All right. 100 capacity. How many do you want? They're 10 million a throw. All right. I'll have four. Go. Well, okay. Well, that's your budget buggered, isn't it? Um, What are you going to do now? No, you really didn't think that through. Anyway, stick them on. No, no. Sell one back. We don't need that many. Oh. Yep. Right. Do you want to go to just two? No, no, no. no. Three's, three's good. Three's the right number. Right. Off you trot. Uh, and then uh, we want to uh, line one. This is going to be from Arz Arzamas. Uh, so this is going to be, what are we calling it? Uh, we're going to call it the Mountain Mountain uh, Rambler. Because it does ramble. Rather like all fine things in the world. And activate. There we are. Still only using one side of the track. Are we sure? I'll, I'll take your word for it. Uh, but Thank you. All right. Why have you got an attitude problem? Oh, because I know I have. All right, okay, so uh, here's the thing, clown, is uh, you're doing it wrong. Stop. Wait there. Uh, let's try and correct it coming out of Novo and what's it? I don't know why it's using the wrong side of the track. All right, right, let's, uh, we'll stick a quick one of those over here just so they can switch. And then immediately after that, we'll stick a one-way signal like this. You can complain all you like, pal. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, I've just told you to do what you should have been doing. Right. What now? It's going to be the flaming stations again. Uh, and in which case, it's going to be this flaming station, isn't it? Uh, Angask. All right. Okay. So if I uh, if I give this a twizzle here, uh, we, might, uh, we might sort it out. Terminals. You're both coming on the same platform. You genius. Uh, what if we put you on one? didn't do it all right put three on one and then five on two no no not interested but you flipping should be interested uh, right okay come back here what's your problem what, what are you using both on the same side gov oh you just why do i just spare me now if i pull that out over here actually we should be able to we can't we should be able to uh can you overview yeah bring that up if you unpin these i seem to recall you can leave it up while you look at exactly what exactly is causing the pro oh you can't look at the line stops on there right so this going to can't go from novo one which is that one uh to angask two no you need to go to angask well i was on no you should be at two clown uh and so you go two that can go two then reshev you can go one because it's the only yes you can you can reach it right he's now going the right way but he's about to go head to head with a train that isn't on the right side of the track that is yeah see he's in the tunnel going what what's going on i don't even know i don't even know what's going on and frankly i'm rather wishing that i'd Oh, you've got it right. Well done. No, at least one of you is not a complete imbecile. Uh, it's because in Transport Fever 1, which was potentially uh, just a little more mature in terms of, uh, of ongoing development, uh, with Transport Fever 1, it would quite merrily have a good swing at selecting the right station first time. Right, he's just gone into the loop-the-loop. Presumably, you're going to re-emerge here majestically. Yeah, that's gone well. Right. I don't know where the third one's got to, but it'll be around. Uh, and then, what's your problem? So, well, okay, if it's doing Novo, all right. Oh, maybe I've got Angarski the other way around. Let's uh, zip out there and find out. Three, five, that's some numbers. Uh, okay, right. So, at Angarsk... You are currently... Ah, right. I want you on one. Like that. There you go. Now, coming back again, I want you on two. Like that. Uh, I believe the crisis has been averted. And everything should now run without issue. 
Train 8 and Train 7 are having a slight altercation. Ah, uh, so much for... You're going the wrong way. I think that's probably fixed it, hasn't it? Yeah. Once you start going the right way, it's amazing how quickly things get fixed. Uh, you, meanwhile, are possibly a little bit close to the previous train. So I'm going to hold you here for a minute and uh, let the other one get a bit of a head start. When I say a bit of a head start, I'm going to let it have a like a properly good level head start. I'll wait till it's left and gask, and then we'll put it in uh, in motion again. Um, uh, infer number 1939 is saying double the locomotives. Yes, but double the locos, double the cost of the locos, and uh, and I'm going to wait and see just how poorly it handles that uphill section before I make a change like that, uh, purely because. That's the right thing to do. Uh, right, you can start moving again. Where's the next one? I imagine it was coming in pretty much immediately behind you. In which case, he can stop and all. All right, there you go. There it is. It's actually got some passengers on board. Oh, okay. Well, we get to see how much the final leg is worth if they get off here. So we've got 21 on board. No one got off. No one wanted to go to uh, Novo Kuznetsk. Because they went no, no vocals next, because just connects to didn't wasn't weren't interested. They they weren't up to that in the slightest. Uh, no, no, I fixed both ends. Both ends are now fixed. It's all good. No, no, trust me, definitely all good. Uh, because the other end is only a single track. If they merge, you got to merge at one end. You got a diamond at the other end. It'll be fine. It's it's right. It's all good. It's right. It's all good. Uh, Bjorn R ninety seven. Hey, there we go. That's a direct quote. There, from the famous Bjorn R 97. Not to be confused with other numbers of Bjorn R that may be available. Right, you're rolling again, and you actually have passengers on board, so that's pretty good. Um, now, there will be some limits. Yeah, see, look, this is this is not going to work well. What have we got? Is that a DC-3? It might be planes time. Right, well, if it's planes time, then uh, I should stop fiddling about with this station business. And uh, and do some stuff, do some planes. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I'm I'm not hampering myself and actually getting some passengers in the place. So uh, so creating an, an additional connection or seven is uh, is going to help out. So that's given this one. Angarsk has got pretty good coverage. Uh, Reshev was already done. Uh, Novo Mifelimilad, we've still got to do. Hold on, didn't I go somewhere else first? No, I thought I was going to go. Oh, no, you were talking about going to Nova Urengoy, uh, but you haven't gone there yet. So you should do that soon. Um, right, okay, so next we will we will gently put down... What are you doing? You need the station modularizer. Uh, right, modularize this station a smidge by putting another entrance on there. Because both sides of the station having access to the station will mean that the station has more access and therefore coverage uh, to the rest of town. You don't need to connect it all the way up. The little blue tendrils will do much of the heavy lifting for you. And that's just giving me access to that lot as well, which will increase the passenger volume. 19 going to Angask. Nobody wants to go up the mountain. Right. Okay, well, so be it. Now, that's working, and they're all reasonably well connected, possibly apart from Arzamas here. Although, Arzamas were on the outside, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, it's it's acceptable. Uh, we'll just do one quick check on the route. As you can see, it's double-tracking there nicely. Down the far end, we'll just double-check. For sanity's sake, uh, looks fine. Yeah, it is fine. All right, that one's sorted. I'm going to build an airport. Well, you say one airport. I'm going to build two airports uh, and get some get some planes up in this business. And uh, the airport's in question. Hold on a sec. Where am I? Completely lost. It is over here. Right, so Reshev, by sticking an airport in here, I think we, we up yet further the potential of what we're doing. Now, if I can get it to talk to this truck stop, which I can't, that's a bus stop. Never mind then. Um, what, right next to the station? Oh, how dare you? Oh, that's saucy. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, good. Right, modularize the station a little bit more. And uh, we want to bang a... 
cargo terminal? No, uh, a bit of both, actually. A bit of cargo so that it can drop cargo off, right? Yeah, yeah, like it. And then a bit of passenger because I've got no intention of people actually boarding the train from this, uh, from this platform. But I'm going to need passengers to be able to get underneath, like so. And I want to be able to pick up cargo so that I can talk to a, a potential truck stop or something on the other side of the road. Uh, and, and there you go. Uh, Bjorn asks, uh, are there any significant differences in full launch from the beta I played before launch? Just general improvements. Um, the first, <laughs> the first beta, it was almost impossible to make any kind of a profit whatsoever. The running costs on things were so high um, that everyone was struggling to make good money. I mean, people were, were getting there, kinda eventually, but uh, but ultimately it was it was deemed to be a little bit too tricky. So they made it a little bit easier uh, after the first kind of beta or so. You're gonna need to you're gonna need to bring this one down a bit, uh, right? So that's where we're sticking it. Seven million for an airport is is worth it in anybody's money. Uh, we'll bring this down and then hope it talks to the station. It's not going to talk to the station, though, is it? No. Why isn't it going to talk to the station? Because you haven't put anything it can actually talk to. Right. So do that then, and then then build your airport. It's an important important thing to get right, though, isn't it? All right. Yeah. It's it's no need to be like that. Um, Actually, I'm going to get rid of these cargo platforms. That's ambitious. You sure? Maybe. Hold on. Uh, and we'll we, instead, we will stick in a cargo building. Yes. Because that gives us street access. Right. Okay. Yeah, all right. Try that. Not sure. Uh, we, don't, we might need to revise that as a, as a decision. but uh, And then we want to stick some, uh, some steps on there. Although saying that... Maybe a passenger building on there would do the job just as well. Yeah, actually, that keeps it nice and even. Everything's going to work out great. Uh, apparently, I've got some vehicles in poor condition. As always, don't care. Right, okay, let's try that again. Only this time, let's make it work. Uh, right, sink them. Keep going. There you go. Right, show me your tendrils. Show me your tendrils. No. No. We've got a zero tendril action happening here, and it should be tendriling. Nope. All right. Double check the placement of tendrils when placing alongside a road. All right. Okay. Well, there's a bit of road. Show me your tendrils. It's, uh, it's not interested in showing me any kind. Hold on. It did there for a moment. There. Is that it? Just that green number? Okay, fine. If that's what it takes, then that's what it takes. Green number, line it up with the passenger building and see if that does it. I'm playing a bit fast and loose here. This is a surefire way to get the game to flip in Crash. Uh, right. I like it. It's working. That's that's going to do it. 11 million squid. What have I got? 43. That's plenty. Do it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. Right. Airport. Got one. I made that happen. That's the thing that's happening. Uh, now, I want to add cargo onto this, but I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm going to get the uh, the whole passenger situation going first. Now, you, you've got... Oi, stop with your radio. Uh, I've got a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of coverage over the other side, but I do get the station, and I do get the bus stop. So hopefully that will turn into something that works. Because uh, if it doesn't, well, then there's, there's a, a bigger problem to deal with. Uh, now, the other end of this, well, okay, all of this is suggesting that it might be the, be, be the place to stick an airport. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right, okay, well. There you go. I don't know how much space I need. I'm going to say some. Yeah, how does that look? Well, I mean, it looks, looks pretty much as you'd expect. Uh, now, this will probably need some interior transportation to hook up with. Uh, but if I can slap this in here, uh, right about there would be ideal. Well, I say ideal. Would be adequate. Ah, that would be okay. Yeah, and it's only five million quid as well. Only. Uh, yeah, do it. All right, there you go. 
Uh, hey there, emissions fans. I hope you like your new airport, because it's super. Uh, right, okay, so we now bung in a bit of road to get the tendrils on the go. Yep. Alright, uh, we'll get rid of that, and then we'll uh, we'll connect it up with something a little bit more... Uh, a bit more robust, so that's that's good. And then one down there as well. Ignore the ugly. We're just we're just after a very minor piece of function. Now then, how's that actually performed? Really badly. Good, good. Next to no coverage at all. Now, bearing in mind, I don't actually run a, any trains in this area at all. It's you're going to struggle to get uh, any kind of big chunky fat mass transit happening and you do want as fat a piece of mass transit as you can get uh hold, hold on you can get a bit more coverage if you grab that and uh, just do you know a bit of cornering like this what's that giving me a little bit more okay well you know a little bit more is a little bit more yeah now get rid of it okay what about this get rid of that as well uh, and then we're going to put in a big fat road instead. And that big fat road is going to connect up with the other big fat road down there. Yes. Uh, we've got the Gaz MM truck with side stakes. Uh, for those who like their steak on the side rather than part of the uh, main mill. Um, right, what have we got? Uh, Nanu Nanu. Uh, the private Nanu Nanu. Hello, private. Uh, you built a nice scenic route along the cliffs. Can we ride it? Yes. Definitely. I'm just letting it get stuck in first, but we'll go and uh, we'll go and say how'd you do uh, shortly. Uh, but I want to get planes going first because if I can, if I get lucky with this, we'll have planes flying over the top of that truck route, the uh, train route, which will mean you know double thrills for all of us. And frankly, there aren't enough double thrills for all of us, and uh, and therefore, I d no, it doesn't need finishing. That's that's uh, that's just done, right? So if I stick a stick a bus stop here, right? Now we have got our incredibly. Co this is another thing that I wanted to get stuck into in this uh, in this jaunt. Is I want to replace this with a roundabout and a slightly better layout because this was having traffic problems earlier on. And while you weren't here, I built a one-way exit for trams coming out that way. Cleaned it right up, so it did. Uh, but uh, but it could still do with a little bit more spit and polish, uh, which we'll probably get to later. So this has got good coverage, but it's also uh, the drop-off point for, what's it called, Irma? No, it's not. Ulf, uh, Ufa. Uh, and uh, and Volgodonsk. And possibly a little bit of Jurga as well. These are all real words. Uh, so if I can... Uh, if I can maybe persuade uh, a bus route to, to go up there without it being too much hassle. But you know what's better than a bus? No, I'm going to use a bus. All right, go from here and uh, and then head out there. Now, I only need one, maybe two at the very most. Uh, but this is going to be the uh, commuter airport uh, vol, colon, vol. It's not really vol, it's more tro than it is vol, but it's vol. Tor, not tro. Whatever. It should be tro. Every time you put it as tro, you've been wrong. <sighs> the, the things I go through. Right, now, cargo passenger. We've got the Fuso B46, which has a capacity of 10, which will be plenty. Uh, slap that onto the airport. I think I, I, I haven't seen that before, so we're going to go and have a look at it. Uh, if we can find it. It'll be around. Don't worry. Ch get rid of this white box business. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Bit of zoom in. Hope you like overhead cabling, because we've got a bit of that. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's just soak up that atmosphere. Where are you going? That's it. Good. For a moment there, I thought it was going to go, no, we're going on a jaunt to somewhere weird. Uh, don't do that. Go somewhere not weird. Probably going to... What are you doing, clown? Where'd you learn to drive? Shit, I'm flipping out. Um, right, so I probably... I say probably. I definitely... Hang on. There isn't a bus stop over here. 
at all. There isn't one. There are no bus stops over here. Well, in which case, if you were to stick another point-to-point -point bus stop that goes down this main drag, uh, then uh, then you, you firstly you'd get a bit more, you know, gravitas in terms of passengers, uh, but you'd also get a little bit more uh, passengers. Okay, not sure that completely makes sense, but uh, you carry on, man. Just you know, you do you. Yeah, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Yeah, we're going to lose four buildings, but we would have lost them anyway. Right, there we go. Let's uh, slap this one in as well. From uh, from Jurgen out to uh, Airput. There you go. That's See, that's a good route. It is. Um, and that's going to be Canuta Airport. Canuta Airport. Uh, and this one's going to be Tro. Because that's what I should have called the original one. But, you know, it's... And I think we could probably get away with two on there. Probably. Okay. Well, we'll go with this nice new bus that we've got. All right. And uh, and then slap them on the uh, slap them on the route. There you go. Have it. Right. Now, with that done, we can now create an air route. Ah ha 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 What? Yeah. No, it's, it's already got... We're going to do it. Nanu, it's happening. Don't worry. It's fine. Uh, it's a shame you can't use the big bois. Uh, yeah. It, yeah, I mean, it, it is. But to be honest, no, they, that's just, that's not what you wanted to press, is it? It's not. Um, to be honest, I've used the big bois so often that uh, to not use it for once would uh, would be fine. Right, so we're going from uh, Volgodonsk Central, which needs an airport name. Hold on a moment. Is that the airport you've grabbed or a bus stop? It's definitely an airport. It's showing you a flight path. Oh, yeah. And then down to Reshev South, including some mountain action. Yeah, but you haven't gone over this bit, though, have you? Well, what do you want? I mean, you want to go out of our way just so that we can fly over where your trains are going? Well, yeah. Uh, right, anyway, so this is going to be uh, Vol... No, Airline... Yeah, Vol... Uh, R Z H. Very exciting. Now, of all the planes that we could choose from, I really don't know which I'm going to choose. I honestly, honestly couldn't decide. Why did you hit that button? Uh, okay. Uh, I couldn't decide what plane I possibly wanted to use here, other than the DC-3. Uh, because it's the only plane that matters in the world. Uh, right. So we've got, what have we got cargo wise? We can do, use the Yunkers, we can use the Vickers. That's fine. I'll, I'll do some of them in a minute. Uh, but initially, we're going to go with these, and I'm going to go with three. Right. Okay, precious. Get to work. It's going to be worth it. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Right, now then, can I can I change your How do we change the colour of these things? Oh, there we go, paint job. Uh, it's orange. That's easy enough. There we go. Oh, there, you see, look, that looks quite sporty. Yes. Oh, dearie me, yes. Oh, oh, goodness gracious. Oh, isn't it? Oh, it's a good day for it as well. Hold up, wait, 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 wait. I could push the pause button, not going to. There we go. Right. Right. Just just clearing the view. Solid. Right, I'm gonna let that one go. I'm also gonna clear the rest of the flight path here, but I'm gonna be a bit more careful this time. It, what it did uh, did occur to me that I was playing with fire vis-a-vis -vis accidentally bulldozing the airport. Didn't want to do that. Yeah. There you go. And that one. Yeah. Gently does it. There you go. Right, here's the next one. Right, we're going to hop on with this chap. The colour palette is too small, says Johnny Mentos. I agree, Johnny. A larger colour palette would be 
very nice indeed. Now, I could be using the camera to, you know, swizzle around all over the joint here, but uh, but for now, we're, we're actually just going to ride it cowboy. Uh, there's, the, uh, there's the lead plane. Now, historically, you could only really make planes work effectively early in the game, well, if you started early in the game, and, uh, and if you had segregated the two sites, so what... Airport A couldn't get to Airport B any other way. But that's fine. Uh, in the new game, that has changed. Oh, that was quite a dramatic shadow being cast on the mountain there. Uh, but in the new game, they are far more robust and far more inclined, but the passengers generally, and cargo for that matter, far more inclined to, uh, to take the plane, given a choice. All right. If I was flying over some of my stuff, this would be more exciting, but I'm not. Has he got his landing gear down, or is that his engines I'm looking at? Also, are we gaining on him? Am I still climbing? Over there? Evidently, all of these things, the answer to which is yes. All right, well, okay, well so be it. It's obviously a, a route that requires a bit of climbing. Uh, but, uh, you know, so be it. Now, I'm hoping that all of this time we're spending in the air here is, uh, is leading to a situation where that train route that we set up a little while ago has started making heap big cash. Because if it hasn't, then I'm going bankrupt. And uh, the only thing I can do to salvage that is start selling stuff. And frankly, most of the vehicles I own aren't worth tuppence. So, uh, so you know, that's, that's an adventure waiting to happen. But meanwhile, we can all enjoy ourselves as we do 250 kilometers per hour in the plane here. As, oh, we, get, we do get to fly over the uh, the fortress of failitude uh which is coming up where you can see it we're, we're going to fly over the top of it uh, which is grand because it is all right yeah there it is yeah yeah this is your grand canyon flight it's not that grand but it's a canyon and it's a flight that's my house you blew it I can see my house from here. That's what you're supposed to say. That is how that particular gag works. Uh, pork barrels. No, pork barrels are included in the game now. Uh, just uh, just slap yourself into what's it mode. Uh, we got we got traffic building up. On the right-hand side, you will see an enormous queue of traffic. I'm going to fix that next. There's a train. I knew we'd get there eventually. Uh, throw sandwiches at the fortress. What, what kind of a what kind of a landing are we coming in for here? Well, a nice one, hopefully. Where's the other plane? Oh, still landing. Can't see any passengers waiting. That's a minor concern, uh, but no. They uh, do they avoid mountains this time around? No, they don't take. That was uh, Choco Com. Uh, they don't avoid mountains. Uh, the, the onus on avoiding mountain collisions is on you. Uh, set your airports accordingly so that they, uh, they don't have a mountain straight in front of the runway is the only way to avoid a mountain strike. Now, I'd say, lads, that you were perhaps just a smidge bunched up. I mean, nice bit of formation flying and landing. Uh, has it got mid-air waypoints? I don't think so, but I'll have a look. Because I've not looked. So let's have a look. No. Sorry. Don't know what else to tell you. No. No is the answer to that. There are no mid air. We've got passengers. Passengers have occurred. How many? Oh, a fair, a fair few. Look. They're all coming in the hats. Uh, right. Ten capacity. Try not to get sucked into the blades there. That It's going to mess with your hat. Eight, nine, ten. Full plane. Plane's full. Plane is full. Plane is full. There we go. That's good. Right. I'm going to park you up here. You're not carrying anyone, so just stop. We'll wait until the next batch of passengers turn up, and I might need to deploy a few more vehicles. How much have you got on you? Yeah, so you're carrying nine. Uh... But, you know, let's let's try and make sure that, that some of you run with, with passengers on board. 
There goes another happy. Uh, it's uh, Rostislav Vinga, uh, something or other. Vinga bus. He's, uh, he's going to go catch a plane. These lot have all piled off. They're going like planes. Da. Right, okay, that one's away. Good. They're waiting at the traffic lights. He didn't want to go on the plane at all, or he's bottled it. He's gone, no, not going. No, don't want to do it. Don't trust it. Can't put me on a flipping steel tube and catapult me into the air at not very fast at all. No, that's that's not something that is realistically fun in the slightest. I just, uh, no. Come on. Oh, well, just, would you, would you please? I've got things to do. We need to go and check on the uh, on the greatest mountain railway ever built. Now here's a here's a puzzler for you. Right? If you were to now place an airport at the other end of this one, facing this one, not for any practical purpose, the question to you is: Would the air socks be pointing at one another? I'm going to go out on a limb and say yes. It's a nice feature, but ultimately is not actually representative of wind direction. Uh, Hicks Alpha ain't going on no plane, we no crazy fool. As uh, as they so often say here in um, vulgar, what you call it, thing. Good, right. Eight? Yeah, all right, eight will do. You can get rolling. Off you go. Now then, I want to try and catch the previous one, see how much those passengers are worth. Uh, although, to be honest, all I need to do is check the balance sheet and it will tell me. But, you know, I don't want to do that either. Uh, where are you? Right, there's one coming in here. Hasn't got anyone on board, so it must be the next one along, which is sat right there. Go on, talk to me. Ten passengers on board. Right, we're going to see how much these passengers are worth. Lost the airport. No, you haven't. You're looking straight at it. Thank you. Right. Have we got some passengers waiting? A handful? Yeah, all right. Okay. Well, that's, you know, that's, that's, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, right. Let's let's turbo boost to get the next plane in, because uh, that way I can move on to checking some stuff. Now my account balance is going up, not very fast, but it is going up. So uh, you never know. I might yet survive uh, any kind of mandatory uh, sell-off of of goods. Right. Let's slow it back down again. And we look at the number, and that number is 241,000. So it ran empty on the way out. It uh, came back a quarter of a million on the way back. And that has met, basically means each one of these flights is going to do half a million uh, in gross revenue per circuit. And it's currently down 28k. So these are going to be nicely profitable. Good. But next, cargo plane. And the cool thing about cargo planes is they're going to uh, they're going to fly at a at a different uh, a different altitude. But let's have a look and see how bad the news is because I'm I'm not expecting it to be good. Uh, that's oh dearie me, the Mountain Rambler. Oh okay, well it's starting to build up its passenger numbers, but the Mountain Rambler is costing me two point two million, which pretty much wipes out t pick two of my most profitable trains and wipe out the profit. Flipping mountain, flipping rambler. All right, I, how about I sell one of them? Which one's got the fewest passengers on board? You've got 67, you've got 23. What about the other one? It's hiding from me. All right, okay. You? No, it's not going to tell me. We're just going to have to hunt them down. All right, let's, let's get out there. All right, turn that off. Turn this off. Right, 67 here. Now, if you're at the head of the queue, that's not good. If you're... At, hold on. Well, uh, no, I, I spaced them out, didn't I? Uh, right. Train 2 has is the one with 23. Where's the final train? Could be anywhere. Uh, probably somewhere. It could be. Somewhere. It's, neither, it's not one of those two. Where's the other one? Uh, no. Nope. Uh, still no. Ah, here it is. All right. You're coming up here with nine. You're coming up here with get sold. 
Right, there we go. That's made me a bit of money back and saved me some running costs. And it also means that the next train up here will have more passengers waiting than it had previously. Now, obviously, that's affected the turnaround time a little bit. But, you know, it's these things have to be done. Until we can get a little bit more interest in visiting Arzimus, uh, then we're always going to struggle to uh, to pack it in much. Is this a default map? Yes, it is. Black and count. Nice to see. Um, click the, uh, the create, says. Click the train icon in the vehicle manager, not the train name. Ah. Uh, whatever. Uh, we got there eventually anyway, but yes, thank you. Good tip. Uh, yes, this is a default map, so I, I put this one together without any real work uh, in, the, uh, in the map editor. Uh, the map editor is basically just a more involved standard map generation tool. Uh, so, yeah, it works out really nicely. And, uh, yeah, that's good. Now, we're going to wait for this chap to come up the hill, then we're going to ride it on the way back down. So, uh, so I'll activate the turbos and, uh, and wait for it to arrive. Because, uh, uh, well, otherwise it's going to be a bit dull. And uh, we will do a, a, a bit of internal cam. We'll do a bit of external cam. I'll let you ride the Helix because I know you're looking forward to it. Despite the fact that you always think it's going to be more exciting to ride first person through a Helix than it actually is. Yeah, afraid so. Uh, were that it were more exciting. 32 passengers wait. This is dreadful. Um, yeah, it's, that's that really isn't ideal. It's multiple connections is what makes the difference. But this has only got eight on board. I thought you had 23. Yeah, some of them died of old age on the way up here. But those eight passengers was worth 140 grand. <laughs> okay, so if I can pack this out, then uh, then we've got uh, we've got opportunity. Right here we go. Have a have a lovely trip. Let's uh, ignore that. Right here we go. We're off and rolling through the famous cactus region of Russia. Uh, is where we're where we're currently rolling. Uh, there's a there's a DC three. Look, yeah yeah. Look at it. It's over there. It's flying like an aeroplane because it's an aeroplane all right okay now we're gonna we're gonna back off quite a bit here so we get maximum impact of the uh, really rather extensive bridge uh, that I built that normally I would not allow myself to build a bridge this length unless it was crossing something but hey it's okay we're all fine here that's the angle isn't it yeah yeah I reckon so too yeah, it's uh, just, I mean, would you just? Would you just? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, though? You would. I think you would. Right, where are we now? Oh, oh, we're underground. Hang on. Oh, heck. Oh, I've missed. I've missed the moment. Oh, no, don't wreck it. Wait for it. We're not going to ride on the... Oh, okay, go on him. Ride on the helix. Yeah, you see, the better view's outside. We're going to wait for it to turn up outside. Get off that. Where's it gone? Right. Get your camera under control and uh, go find it. Quick, quickly. Right. There you go. All right. This isn't going to be such a great shot after all. But hey, it's uh, it's a thing. Oh, there are lots of good views to be had externally. I think we'll ride on for this bit though. Because uh, this looks like it will be value for money. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Auto auto kernel cam. Now, the art of the kernel cam... It, I'll demonstrate it after we're through this bit. Because I think this is probably the best bit. Um, uh, but the art of the kernel cam is parallax. You know. Oh, yeah. Parallax is what makes it sing. Uh, but we'll do that in a moment. Oh, oh, this is very nice. Little short dabs of tunnel. Ignore the fact the bridge is floaty. Thanks, Bobbington, uh, who pointed that out. And it ruined our day. We were all thinking it looked great, and it said that it's only got one support underneath it. Well, at least you can do stuff with only one support now. But there you go. Right, 33 passengers on board. We're going to hop off briefly and find out what this is worth. If any of them get off, obviously... And 18,000. 
I'm guessing only one passenger got off there. Right. Let's uh, let's queue ourselves up for a, a Colonel Can demo. Uh, right. Okay, so what you want... So first off, is you need the train to be moving through the frame at a different rate to the camera. Now, you can accomplish this by... I mean, if we set it up here... So, I mean, I'm doing it now. This is a good ca Colonel Can. Obviously, my height's wrong. Hold on. We can drive it on both key sets here. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not gone well. Yeah. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go, too high. I want the landscape a little lower, please. There you go, right, okay, we're in business. And then, while you're moving, you allow the train to move through. That's Colonel Cam, right there. Now, more frequently, you'll be gradually overtaking the train going from the back uh, to the front. Oh no, wait, down a bit. There you go. See, oh, and zoom in a bit. Tunnel. I don't <laughs> okay, I was going. I don't know what you'd say about the floating passengers, but there was some other passengers floating back the other way. So you know, I'm over it. Um, incidentally, urban games. I don't mind that. That's fine. Uh, you know. Uh, I would rather have the freedom to do this stuff uh, and have to occasionally tolerate this, <laughs> uh, which is quite funny, uh, than not have the ability to do it. Right, here we go. If we've got a bit of flat land here, this is this is how you. Oh, I don't know the I don't know the map well enough. Uh, another bit. Of There's a lot of cheeky tunnels on this, and that's uh, I mean obviously that's a good thing. I don't know how long this bit of tunnel is. Was this the expensive bit? It, this is probably the expensive tunnel. Well, there's the driver. He's in there. He's looking pretty confident. And train. Hey, Anton. Uh oh. All right. Okay. Well, here we go again. Yes, the X-ray cam is a thing of beauty. And train. Right. Up a bit. There you go. Right, see, no, look, see, th this, this is super. There you go, and then you can, you can do, you know, a passing kernel cam. Yeah. All right, hold on, oh, we're about to, we're about to unload. Right, let's see what this is worth. Because you're 1.4 million in the hole at the moment. Please be a big 170 grand. Listen, friend. Ah, we've got a full load now, as we do the last run to uh, to Rashev. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'll I'll be honest with you. It's it's going to uh, it, it, you're going to need to really pay the bucks on this last leg because uh, I can't afford to be carrying two million quid's worth of loss on a single route. You know, as much as that air route is going to pay off quite nicely. Oh, hold on. Is this... Where are we going here? Oh, this is the expensive one. Well, what was that last one, then? Another expensive one. Oh, no, that was the going around the outside of the mountain. Ah. This is the uh, really big tunnel. Well, let's do it. Okay. I mean, it's not going to be that exciting to watch, but, you know, we can get a sense for how long the really big tunnel actually is. Um, Snowflake. Oh, no, I'm not, not Snowflake. Snowflake Davian. Davian, mate. If I'm in dark mode, I can't read your name. And I guess, I imagine that that's what you're aiming for. Uh, so, you know, come on, play the game, mate. Uh, uh, would it have cost more to show the terrain to and you're making fun of something? Would it have cost more? I, don't, I, I couldn't tell you. Right, here we go. Uh, Russians have the same hugging factor as a cactus. Yes. Uh, apparently. According to Choco.com, that's not me. I'm not saying that. No, that's, uh, you know, I'm just I'm just talking through the chat here. Uh, Doom 6 X-Ray. Uh, hey, Colonel, that's me. Uh, do you think we'll ever see a variable water height? 
Yeah, well, if you've if you've seen a few videos on this, you'll you'll know already that the water height is actually uh, it's it's almost like a ground texture, effectively. It looks great, but it's quite obvious just how much of it is. It's a little bit of ground. It's a bit of a programmery fakery going on there. Uh, now, hold on, hold on. Just dropping off a hundred passengers. One point one nine eight million. Okay, I'll allow it. But we need you to be, you know, doing a bit more than that. How many are you going back with? Do I think we will? Well, I think you'd put that down as a major feature, right? Uh, is, you know, for, for a transport fever of three, you won't get it in TF, TF, TPF2 simply because that's a big engineering task. And I'm speculating, right? I don't know anything uh, with regard to what Urban Games have got planned. But... Uh, the, the, the main thing is the water in the game looks wonderful. It's only when you peer beneath its skirts you just kind of go, that's not actual water! Um, but if you wanted a, I don't know, something like a Sea of Thieves waterscape or, a, uh, or a, an Atlas water approach or something like that, then I think that's a fresh game for starters. Making it then flow, so you, you know, you could have a, a lake at the top of a mountain or something and it create a tributary that runs down towards the sea don't know don't know good question though uh but uh but honestly couldn't tell you could not tell you skylines does it well i think uh you know especially for tycoon games you know skylines is probably the uh, the king of that particular castle at the moment uh but you know skylines is a it's a different kind of beast Right, let's have a look and see what Reshev thinks of uh, life. Uh, we're at 60%. It is growing-ish. Uh, we've got very good uh, something. Anything? Not really. No. Uh, destinations, however, it's uh, it's got a gangbuster score for destinations. Oh, I shouldn't surprise me. It's got an airport. Uh, how many people are waiting at the airport? 120! I could probably afford to buy another plane or two. Yeah, I'm going to. All right, how many? Two. All right, then. Yeah, right, you lot, get on the line. Uh, let's go check the other end of the line and, and see if it's got a similar kind of uh, queue going on. Oh, yes. Oh, airport's working is just joyful. Uh, also, we've got 23 people waiting for the commuter down to the centre of town. Flipping neck, this place has suddenly sprouted. I mean, like, suddenly... It was not like this last time I was here. So Jürger now is up to 413, which is okay. Uh, we're losing out on uh, the quality of external connections. Yeah, but your destinations, it's going, oh, si, senor. And you kind of go, ah, si, senor. Right, so that's, that's all, that's, that's super. Now, part of the problem is this. I say part of the problem. That's the problem. And that is being caused by this and a bit of that. It, and because it is also, it's, it's like it's the primary route that connects these two together. So I think if I were to uh, grab a bit of road, uh, we're done on primary building operations for this leg. Incidentally, we're now, uh, now going to do a little bit of polishing uh, while we wait for, uh, for his storminess to return from whatever it is that he's been doing. Goofing around, I would imagine. Having a, having a bit of a goof around in between streams. Because uh, that's, that's what makes life grand. Uh, right. I want a I want a gent... No. All right. Stuff that. Okay. For those of you unfamiliar with the bridging system, here we go. There's a quick demo. I imagine anybody who's actually in the chat is familiar with the bridging system. So it is on the greater and less than keys this time around. Instead of page up, page down, which is what it was on in Transport Fever 1. And by doing it like that, you can start your track, road, build, whatever, wherever you feel like. Woohoo! Uh, which gives you uh, a much greater options in terms of, of getting bridges over stuff when you need to get bridges over stuff. There you go, tutorial ends. Very, very useful. And uh, if you play the game, you will uh, you'll enjoy that. There, you can have that one. Just uh, wrap it and run with it. Where are we? Up there. Okay. All right, round the corner. Right, you can start sinking a little bit more now. That's it. We need you back at ground level again. 
Although, hold everything. Wow, that's exciting. What I want, I want a, a, a near undercarriage clip of the bridge. That would be nice. I don't think I've set this up in a way that will allow me to get the plane under the bridge again. Because, I mean, let's face it. You know, we do, uh, we do want to get the plane under the bridge. But I don't think this is the time that we're going to do that. Now, I built this because hopefully it will soak up some of the traffic from over here. And what I wanted to see was, do we have roundabouts yet? No. Oh, unless it's classed as a building, which I don't think it is. Streets. Yeah. Is it that? No. Is it this? No. Is it that? No. Is it this? No. Where are roundabouts gone? Is it this? No. Is it that? No. All right. I haven't got roundabouts yet. Oh, hold on. It might be one of these. Assets. No. Paint tools. No. I saw it somewhere. And it, you, when I first saw it, I went, oh, that's a weird place to put it. Uh, but that ain't it. Someone in the chat will know if they know it somewhere else. Also, if you hold shift while using NNM, it does smaller intermediate steps. Yes, it does. That's true. That's a true story. All right. I'm going to do it manually. This is going to look horrendous, but it might solve part of the uh, the traffic flow issue that we've got going on at the moment. Uh, right. First off, get rid of this depot because I'm going to need the space. Right. Next off. Uh, yes. All right. I'm going to try and build a roundabout that goes from this junction round this junction and then out past the back side of that so imagine it as a like a an elongated one-way uh, oval right ovals are always already elongated hush right uh so one-way street please large and we'll do a little bit at a time actually i'm even going to pre-gouge this uh, for pre-gouging purposes right Let's, uh, let's see what we get. And that, I mean, that second end of that gouge is going to need a bit of work, but uh, let's see what we get here. Now, I'm not connecting it up yet, because the last thing that we want is Clown starting to use this thing before it's ready. So uh, don't don't connect up to the uh, to the track. That's not going to help anybody, least of all you, because I've just bulldozed you. Okay, plane. Oh, 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 we're in the right place. Oh, yes. Oh, that's... that is... Oh! What can I tell you? I like planes. Or I like that plane. Alright, so that's done that. Good. We now want to do something similar that comes up here. We might need to rebuild the original bit of track. Exciting. I'm going to do that. Uh, right, get rid of this, and that, and this, and this, and that, and that, and this, and a bit of that, and a bit of this. Right, okay. Now what? Bit more. And that, yeah, bit here, and that bit too. Okay, right, then tracks, yes. High speed for sir? No. We'll keep it on low speed, because it's not going to, it doesn't need high speed. Right, and then I want a straight-ish line going like that. Well, that's what you've got, so I hope that's what you wanted. Yeah, and now I'm going to do it again, so that it actually hits where I need it to. Oh, can we get over the bus stop? Yes. Oh, ah, oh, yeah. Okay, maybe. Possibly. Also, you are going quite steeply downhill there. So, maybe start a little lower down. Okay, we'll, we'll decrease it by a notch. And, uh, and then try it again. Right, so, from here, check the angle. Because you, you've got to be able to match it up to the end of the station, at least. Collision. Nah, no, there isn't. No, you've you started too close to the road. Okay. Collision. What? Oh, come on. And again. So, so, oh, no. Wait. Collision. No collision. Right. Hot dog. Not hot dog. Uh, right. And then you talk to that. Don't want to. Don't want to talk to it. Oh, go on. Talk to it. No, not interested. All right. What if I put a bit of a down bubble on there? Yeah, no. I mean, like I was saying, not interested. All right. What if I delete this back a bit? Oh, well, then you and I may negotiate. Uh, I thought, thought as much. Right. Yeah, keep going. Right. Try it again. And and hope that this uh, this boondoggle of a track build here doesn't end up being completely stupid. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. One building will be removed. Well, that's progress. 
for you right there. Also, you're on steeply downslope. Gently downslope will suffice. Thank you very much. This road is going to interfere, isn't it? You knows it. Okay. All right. Where's the end of the track? Just, just tell me that that works. It probably works. You don't know, though, do you? No. All right. Okay. Sorry. Not sorry. There we go. Right. Now then, you, come here. Now, there is an invisible train there, but I don't think that's an invisible train. I think that's just smoke uh, left over from a train that I callously shoved back the other way in order to facilitate this, what will hopefully be a uh, superior track episode. We don't know, though, do we? No. Well, it's working again now. Although, you might have... Hold on. It's not working again now. Right, get rid of this. Right, and then uh, just do the last... The last little bit there. Now, the hope... Why? Yeah, okay. I, I, I admit, answering the why is probably quite important. Uh, but the, the hope is... That, uh, that I can efficientize this system up a little bit. The likelihood is that I don't. So let's find out. Do you, do you want to slide through there? No, because there's an airport in my way. Okay then. Right, get rid of that bit. Yeah. Go, and go to modularize this. Yeah. Get rid of that bit. There's a collision. What? Well, if I remove it, then surely there will be less of a collision. All right, okay, we'll do it this way. Confirm destruction. <laughs> it's confirmed. Collision. What? Okay, right. Well, if you're not going to play ball, suck this. Right, there we go. That did the job. Uh, now then, we need to... Uh, I'll tell you what else, since we're here. Uh, give me that. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have done this to begin with. Right, yeah, and this, and that bit, and that bit. Right, okay. Now, build me something that looks like it might work. What's my name? Biffer? Hello, building a roundabout. Okay. What are you doing in the next episode? We're building some roundabouts. Okay. In today's episode. Let me guess. Uh, right, okay, let's uh, let's bung this on here. Uh, nope, let's bung this on here. What's the matter? Are you not tall enough? You flipping are tall enough. Look at that. You're, you're the tallest man in the world with your friends and your envelope. Uh, right, okay. Well, maybe if I do a little bit of, uh, just a gentle bit of, call that gentle. Well, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it could be conceived that way. Uh, right, let's uh, let's grab this. Yeah, okay. Now then, uh, you where did where did I put the first one? I, I want to try and get it parallel with that. Well, no, I don't. I want to try and get it perpendicular with the road we're heading to. I want to go. I want to do that. Well, you're not allowed. You're not. No, it's because you've been incredibly hasty with everything that you've built, and therefore that works. All right. Yeah, it is a little bit budget though, isn't it? Right, what are you doing with this? Well, I think if we delete this, and then I'll put it back in in a moment. But uh, first things, wait, no, that's that's really the wrong button. Uh, right, okay, over here. And yeah, all right, you come out there like that. Okay, right. Then we go back to regular surface street here, grab the beefcake and uh, whiz that up this way. All the while, remembering that we have to stick back a truck, uh, bus, truck, stop, trot, uh, truck stock. Uh, right, no, do that, yeah, because that will work a little bit better. Then do this, don't upgrade, just, we want to plunk in new stuff. New stuff, plunk in, plunk in, new, plunk, plunk. What do you mean it's not possible? It is flipping possible. Everything about what I'm doing here is inherently plausible. No, you're not allowed. All right, try coming this way. No, can't do it. What's what's your problem, Road? Just flip jaw, you would you? Just, I mean, honestly. All right, okay, well, uh, let's finish this off. See, that's happy. Yeah, 
but that's now made that not one way. Yeah, but I need it to be one way. I need it one way though. Yeah, I know. But I'm just, just do what you think is right and then upgrade to one way afterwards. Yeah, I'm not convinced, you know. No, you're not, are you? That this is going to work at all. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold everything. Right, get rid of this. Right. Yep. Yes. Is it, though? Mostly. Okay, right. So, here's the new scheme. Upgrade this, put it one way, give it this stuff, and then go kaboom. And, uh, well, no, no. Other way, please. Other way. No? Okay. And in kaboom. So, we've got two one-way bits, in and out, shake it all about, right? Uh, down that bit, that doesn't want to be one way. That wants to just be large. Some buildings will be, yeah, and that one. Yeah, and this one. Yes, and that one. This is how you sort traffic flow. Is you don't. Is you just, you put a bunch of roads in and then scowl at people until they comply. Uh, right, uh, give me that and that one. No, this one. Yes. Now, this bit, are you going to play ball? No. In that case, get bulldozed. Right, try again. Have at it. No. What are you colliding with? The airport. Oh. Um, right, okay. Yeah, up. Oh. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's horrible. All of this road is horrible. I would like to take a lot longer over this bit of road, but equally, I would like to get this bit of road done. Right, now you've got to put your bus stop back in, and the ideal is that you put it in in such a way that it does not create the same traffic crud that you had previously. So, it's here. And hope it inherits. Alright, okay. So, if I do that, yeah? Yeah. Oh, it needs to be an electric tram track as well. Also, you're possibly going to need to tram track some of that road up. Okay, that's fine. Do, I uh, wait. That. Right. Yes. Good. Okay, good. It has inherited. There is some justice in the world. Uh, and then, wait, no, modularize. Modularize. Right, configure that. Yeah, hello there. I want, uh, I, want a spit, I want a bit of this, please. Which way are you going? I'm going out that. No, wait, I'm going out this way. Yes. Right, good. And this one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I don't think that's made it better. I think that's made it worse. Um, good. Well, it's an adventure. Uh, are we still missing tram track or are we good? Hit the accelerator. They'll fly right by. Let's find out. Uh, the Douglas C-49 Skytrain has arrived. Uh, right. Okay, good. Now then, let's, uh, let's have a look and see what we've actually got happening here. We've got a bit... It's a bit lumpy. Has to be said, just a just a bit lumpy there, and that's fine. We've got a bit of a traffic problem downtown, but the traffic lights will sort that out. That's all good. What we're hoping to see, thanks AI. Oh, I will tell you what, <laughs> the AI has gone. No, I don't like this one-way street. I'm going to put a bypass in. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, no. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. No, not allowed. Verboten, mate. Get in the one-way system. But the one-way system's... <laughs> it's going, no, no, I think you'll find, actually, actually, we are putting this road in here. We're going to go, flipping not. There is a button you can press, uh, and it's something like, it's over here somewhere. Uh, it might be on the traffic tools. I can't remember. I haven't really used it much. Um, uh, where is it? It's it's a toolbox of some kind. Is I can go and talk to the road and tell it to not allow the AI to do anything with it. I mean that's I mean that's that's thinking ahead. That is, uh, but <laughs> but even so, the AI just kind of going. It is going in. I go. It's not. I go. I think you'll find. Um, right. Well, no, it's not that one. I can't remember where it is. I found it, like, once. But it's the same tool for uh, for turning traffic lights on and off. Do you just click on the traffic lights? No. What's the... What's the... What's the... What's the... Maybe it's under here. 
line manage. Whoa, what did I do? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Just a, it made a noise. I was a little bit nervous about it, but I'm fine now. Is it there? Someone will know. And nope. Uh, it just, uh, just, did, yeah, sure. Push the same button again. That'll do it. What's the question mark? No. Ugh, it is. Make sign of warding. Uh, don't you give me tips. I don't want them. There's a, there's a flip it, and it shows a padlock thing. Oh, it's an overlay. It's an overlay. It's an overlay. It's here. Look, right. So you can, in the uh, strategic street layer level layer thing here, uh, you can hit the padlock and the AI will no longer interfere with your business, um, which is really useful. Same deal with the traffic lights as well. Turn them off, create mayhem. Turn them on, create mayhem. Uh, that's, that's more or less how that works. Uh, I'm tempted, you know, to get rid of the traffic lights here. Sucks to be pedestrians. And see if this makes uh, more problems or less problems. Uh, fewer problems, beg your pardon. What would be nice would be able to put traffic lights on one bit but not on others. I wanted, I wanted a roundabout. I mean, I built a one-way system from hell. Wanted a roundabout. Didn't get a roundabout. Ended up with a one-way traffic system from hell. Also... These idiots are only using the middle lane. Oh, okay. You're coming in to prove me wrong. Thanks. All right. Okay. Well, it is what it isn't. Uh, and that's, uh, that's, that's something right there. Right. I'm anticipating that his uh, Iskynus is, is on line two somewhere. Uh, it'll, it'll be around. Just going to give Sky a quick call. So it's pitch perfect. It'll be something like, Sky, you're on. Come on. Showtime, mate. Chop, chop. It's all right. No rush. I'll be, uh, I'll be, you know, I'll keep, keep the fires welded. Still, I mean, look, we've got, we've got a flipping Air Force parade coming in. Speaking of which, let's have a look and see how the money is on that, uh, on that line. Oh, there we are. Here, I'm here. I'm here. Punctuality is courtesy, dear boy. That's I all. was... That's all good. I was fighting the game a little bit, and it was very good fun. Um, yeah, no, that was that was terrific. Uh, I, I, I was just letting you carry on. I <laughs> thought you were having. I thought you were having such fun trying to find the padlocks. Yeah, I found it though. In the traffic Did find overlay. it. I found it. I forget about the overlays because I don't really use them apart from checking uh, coverage and stuff. Uh, but it's going well. This air route is terrific. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but... Uh, I, I have, I have. I have, been, I have been watching while I've been decorating. What are you decorating? I've been extending my farm decorations. Oh, good stuff. Oh, well, I, I look forward to seeing that. That sounds like a great deal of fun. Uh, but the Mountain Rambler, that's a dead loss. That's a, that's a lot of rubbish. Really? Uh, yeah, no, no. I mean, it will break even... But then it will chew up a hell of a lot of money while it's not breaking even anymore. But, uh, yeah. no, this is good. I think next... Uh, next Things need to make money. You, well, you've, you've got to be able to absorb their costs, right? So, I mean, if something right. is burning 20 or 30 grand a year, no problem. Something is burning a quarter of a million, or half a million, as it is doing at the moment, that's a little bit more difficult to absorb. Because then you start wiping out your, your big hitters, and that's, that's not ideal. But I'm, a, but I'm a big fan of having expensive vanity routes. So uh, something that you only have because it looks good and, uh, and then just absorbing the cost of that through, uh, through stuff that is a little bit, I don't know, less exciting maybe? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, th this, is why, this is why I like to put in at the beginning some really good, solid, profitable routes because then it allows me yeah. to do all the stupid, crazy things that I like to do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I just, oh, oh, the, the, <laughs> the AI using its cheeky bypass, honestly, I mean, the front of it, and that is, oh, that's just, that's naughty. Uh, nice helix, by the way. I, uh, I thought it came out quite nicely. Uh, where are we? I thought that was, I thought that was a very nice innovation. Yeah, it's okay. It, it, it's ended up in a bit of a, uh, a roller coaster, which is not desirable, but, uh, I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, I've done but, worse. I have done worse, but this is This just, is the thing. When, when you're streaming and you're trying to pack as much in 
and we're rushing. Like, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm playing really badly. I mean, I mean, I could do that and make it look, well, hold on. What have you done? What What is the matter with you? Oh, no, that's come out all right. Actually, no, it hasn't. No. Okay, that's that's come out odd. It's all right, I'll fix it. There you go. See, seamless-ish. That only cost me four million to get wrong. There you are, beautiful. All right. And yeah. plus, I, I owed you like 15 minutes that so I nicked off the beginning of your segment. I know, so. I was just joshing. Um... Yeah, no, it's it has it has come quite well. It come out quite well as the uh, as the helix there. But I'm more pleased with uh, with this end section that just goes along the the kind of the ridge of the cliff before cutting through it. That's really nice. And with a bit of tactical bulldoze here, in fact, if I were to take that one out, nothing happens. Okay, if I take that one out <laughs> and then. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Trust me, it's going to be it's going to be worth it. Uh, and then remove that bit, remove this bit, remove that bit, and this bit. I just want it to stick in like one or two extra pillars. Uh, would be uh, would be desi desirable. Go on. Bridge pillar collision. Hooray. Yeah, you've made it so much better now. What are you colliding with? Doesn't really matter. Oh, everything. It's, it's decided to put in all the... All right, okay. Well, there's a lot for Fine. it to collide Be that with. way. Pardon? There's a lot for it to collide with. <laughs> there is. Uh, to, to be honest, I was a bit surprised it got over there in the first place, but then it turns out it was just skipping pillars. Um, and a lot of them at that. There you go. Right, that's that back in. Uh, hit, the, hit the turbos on that one. And then, yeah, there you go. These lads will move back in. All right, yeah, that's come up quite nicely. It's what's so awesome about this game, like watching other people play and seeing what they come up with. I mean, you come up with stuff that I would never even dream of doing. Just, but I mean, that is because I'm relatively sane. Just, just. Yeah, well, you see, I'm, I'm always looking for the interesting. Uh, you know, uh, to, to be honest, I could, I could play it in a sane way, uh, to use your word, uh, and, and come up with something that was, you know, highly effective. But you know I've, I've i've made what 600 videos on the subject right uh you, you, you know between train fever and transport fever i've made 600 videos and therefore to keep it fresh you just want to avoid repeating yourself uh yeah. And, oh yeah and oh yeah you're always searching for the for the yeah for something that i do this differently that's going to be interesting or new or different or just a bit of a break from the norm or something like that and uh yeah. You know, uh, and that's what keeps the game fresh. As it's it's going to remain fresh for as long as you have ideas, and uh, well, and that's what makes it great. I've been playing I've been playing Transport Fever, um, like fairly fairly consistently yep. over the last three years. Yep. Um, and I'm still coming up with new. Things. I was I playing Transport Fever only only a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, oh my God, I, I, I could do this and I could do that and I could do that. Yeah. And then I had to stop and I was actually frustrated that I had to stop doing that because I've got to play Transport Fever 2 and it was like, oh, I want to try those ideas out. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's like, and now that we're on Transport Fever 2, I'm going, you know, I'm taking some of the ideas that I had for original Transport Fever, like, like, could you do a main line? And you kind of go, ah, possibly but actually what i think is going to be most fun uh that i think some people have already started doing is uh mega hubs so i mean hubs were a big deal late on in uh in transport fever but i think this time around having kind of smaller hubs that are designated to like one or two perhaps resources that then link up into a big one that serves a load of cities I think that's the, the stuff we'll see. Also, this time around, I think we're going to see high detailing like never before. Oh, that's for certain. Because the, the Skylines easier. people have arrived. Uh, and they forgot how to do Let's Play ages ago and have just been decorating the entire time. And all the Skylines and, videos and, you get now, they just decorators and roundabouts. That's all right. I'm allowed I mean, to throw shade at Biffa. He's huge. He, does, he can he can he can uh, he can suck up me being a little bit cheeky. Before sure. all, before all spend the next six months fixing our cities. The hell it, well, I'm not now, letting, now, I'm, that, now that transport fever two's got roundabouts. Yeah, well, I'm not letting him near mine. No, 
He's, he can he's got, keep his mix to himself. <laughs> uh, I'd like him to see, like to see him cap, uh, tackle a peninsula. Oh, I've got a few people waiting then. What are we, how many have we got waiting here? 150 and it's maxed out. And that's a single point-to-point -point service. The sheer joy in your voice. Yeah, of just catching something at the right angle. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. I don't know why it is either. It's because I'm a muscle car fan, right? American muscle cars. And, uh, and the DC-3 is uh, the aeroplane equivalent of a muscle car. Despite the fact it's, you know, uh, you know 20, 30 years pre uh, kind of Detroit muscle appearing. Uh, I mean, okay, you've got the, 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 like the, the Ford Coupes around this time. But look at it. Look at that. It's just so pretty. And I tell you what, when I make billions off this YouTube lark, I'm buying one. <laughs> you know, Squirrel will be will be driving around in his Cessna, and I'll just come barreling past with a with a lot of you know heavy duty American beauty. Um, good, right? Uh, what have you got planned for yours? Um, I frankly I decided to wing it for the for the next section because I was going to do I was going to do aeroplanes, but you've kind of done aeroplanes, so I was thinking of doing something else. I've done aeroplane. Well, you've done aeroplane. But that's as many aeroplanes as I'm ever going to do. Uh, I, on, I, yeah. I won't ever use anything else. Because why would you? Um, uh, and, and there you go. That's that. I don't care what anybody says. That's that's all there is to it. Right. Okay. I'm going to hop off so you can hop on. Uh, okay. Thank you for tuning Sounds in for good. this segment. If you were to hold your breath, you'd be able to release that breath and take a fresh one. And the stream will have restarted by then. Uh, I've been the Colonel Failure. You can catch me on youtube.com slash Colonel Failure, just in case you can be bothered. Um, anyway, coming up next is, well, it's Skystorm, isn't it? I mean, you know, you've uh, you've seen the rest. Now meet the best, as they say. <laughs> uh, right, I'm pushing my button.